My name is Julie Bouchard, and the original title of my story in French is Ce qui brûle, or What Burns. I'm from Montreal, Canada. What Burns aims to be an exploration through flames and ashes of the living forces that are consumed within and around us in this fiery 21st century. I wrote this story first and foremost because committing to a contest, especially one with the prestige of the Commonwealth Short Story Prize, compels us to work with a sense of urgency, giving us both a deadline and a purpose, with the hope that our reflections on the world might resonate with others outside of our own circles of readers. The writers that have influenced me, among others, are Virginia Woolf, Flannery O'Connor, Toni Morrison, Laura Kaziski, and Quebec writers such as Anne Hébert and Suzanne Jacob. All these women have taught me a lot about writing, a lot about living, and they still accompany me through every day and contribute to shaping my literary sensibilities with their unique perspectives and distinctive voices. My submission for the 2024 Commonwealth Short Story Prize is titled When Things End. It is about the coercive sexual relationship that develops between a white Zimbabwean professor and his young female graduate student of color. It explores themes of gender, race, power and inequality, what happens when a coercive relationship like this begins, and what happens when things end. I was inspired to write this short story by the political movements that occurred when I was a graduate student studying at Harvard University between 2014 and 2020. In particular, I was inspired by the Me Too movement, which sought to give voice to people who had been victimized by asymmetrical power imbalances and to rectify these instances in all industries, including and especially academia. I submitted for the 2024 Commonwealth Short Story Prize because I believe the Commonwealth Prize to be one of the most influential literary awards in the world, bringing together diverse writers from all across the globe, each of whom are examining the different kinds of obstacles and problems that people face every day. Milk is fundamentally a story about love and hope in a milieu of deep poverty. Poverty dims humanity, but it by no means extinguishes it. I myself have endured it and homelessness over my lifetime. My background as a disabled queer trans autist gives me fellow feeling with other people pushed to the margin. We're fortunate in the Commonwealth to have a prize that celebrates diversity of story. Fiction opens the door to worlds we may never experience in reality. I submitted Milk because we can never talk about talk enough about sex workers, lack of choice, poverty, and indeed the thing with feathers. Milk was inspired by my lo- lifelong work alleviating poverty and violence. Sometimes, even when there is trouble at the beating heart of a life, color and hope can wing high. To write this, I thought of my mother at her rare and engaging moments, usually around holidays, when she would pull herself out of the muck of mental illness and addiction and have us follow strings or riddles from room to room, attic to basement, say, and back to the living room to find our Easter eggs, the charming times when her love was a gift that could solve any problem. Hello, my name is Effie Che, and my entry in this year's Commonwealth Short Story Prize is Your Own Dear Obedient Daughters. Your Own Dear Obedient Daughters presents a village beset by a literal plague of bodies and opens with the question of whether or not the community will survive such a reckoning. I submitted to this year's competition because I believe in the power of storytelling and of the short story form, and I share the common principles, values, and aspirations affirmed by the Commonwealth Charter and the Foundation's undertaking to be a compelling force for good. This story and its characters began with the image of a fisherman drawing a body from the water and were inspired by my fascination with fairy tale and folklore. If I were to envision my story as a fragrance, its essence might be captured by notes of iron, the smell of a field under sun, and steaming bowls of rice and broth. I'm absolutely thrilled and honored to be one of the writers on the shortlist for the short story prize. Our stories connect us.